and blinged out Dawn deck and people were interested in how to make these Dawn cards, so I'm going to do this little video. What's up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I just got out of bed, so my hair is a mess. I'm sorry, but everybody wanted to know how to make these shiny Dawn cards, so I wanted to make a video showing you guys how to make these shiny Dawn cards. If y'all are excited for the One Piece card game, you know that proxies are out, people are building the Straw Hats and Kaido deck and testing it out, and of course, if you're going to be testing this, you got to have a Dawn deck. So, <clears throat> in my usual way, I made a blinged out uh, Kaido and Luffy deck and blinged out Dawn deck, and people were interested in how to make these Dawn cards, so I'm going to do this little video. There's a couple things that you need if you want to do this one you need an inkjet printer two you need transparencies that can be printed on with an inkjet printer three you need some design skills for photoshop or one of those programs like that four you're going to need some foil cardstock from like michael's it's like four bucks for 25 sheets or something like that and the fifth thing that i like is to have a uh, straight line cutter one of these paper cutters it makes it a lot easier and you can do it a lot quicker. if this is your first time here you want to see stuff like this every week go ahead and smush that subscription button it really helps me out if you're a returning member of the joe crew let's make some shiny dawn cards all right so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your cardstock ready i actually mark off the the, the places where i'm going to need to cut this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a piece of this cardstock here I'm gonna line it up and say, okay, I know I need to get it here and here. And then we're just gonna cut these. So that's your length on the card. Once you have your length on the card, then we're gonna cut width. And I don't like to cut multiple at a time because it makes the line wiggly and then you have to recut it and it ends up just wasting time. So you get a more accurate cut if you just cut them one at a time really fast like this. All right, so that's going to give us nine of these. You actually need 10, so you need to do two pages, um, but I'm just going to do one page just to show you guys how it's made. And then you're, this is where your design skills are going to need to come in. You're going to need to print out your designs on, an, on a transparency, and then we're going to cut these out. <clears throat> Basically, if you're designing these on the computer, you want to find a dome card and crop out the middle part, and then you can just put whatever image you want in there. And then when you're printing, you want to make sure that you flip the design backwards so everything is backwards, and then print on that side because the ink is still going to want to stick to the sleeve. So this way, the ink is going to be directly against the hollow foil when we line it up, and you're not going to get any ink sticking. Check I figured out and using all these transparencies. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these now. All right, now that we got all these set up, we're just going to need some sleeves. So we're going to keep our cardboard here. We're going to grab some sleeves. I said I don't know if I said you needed these, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably know that uh, you probably have sleeves. All right, so. You take your transparency and you just put it right over top of the foil like that and then you take your sleeve and make it nice and wide and get your foil and your transparency in there together and there you have your dawn card just like that easy as that one dawn down <laughs> and there you go easy as that you got your dawn deck this is the only nine cards you do need 10 so you'll have to do another sheet but it's fun you get to make more they're pretty easy to make um these are all arts i really like this is one of my new arts i'll be showing off soon um i think some of these are from the game some are from the formation game these are the king rares from the formation i just want to try them out this is another uh this is the other dawn deck that i made yesterday it's pretty much all the same this one the ink got messed up on that it happens sometimes but i like using the manga shots i think they're going to be doing that for the dawn decks but super easy thing to do um i hope you all are making proxies and getting excited for this game because it looks really really good and i'm psyched to play I literally just rolled out of bed. That's why my hair is a mess, but I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be done. Forget to brush your teeth twice a day. Uh, check out my Instagram at dental.dmd. I've got a lot of dental tooth tips I'm doing over there that are a lot more professionally done and have good information, and, like captions and all that stuff. Have fun with your dome decks. See you next time. Jada, 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 Jada,